Yep. That's my, that's my uh, signature look. Well, thank you. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Martin here and Brenda. We're going out into the woods and pick up some rounds that I cut earlier. And I'm probably going to cut a few more rounds out of some blowdowns that we have out there just to fill up the ranger. And as you can see behind us here, our wood pile is there. It's about three cords of wood that I split by hand. So we're gonna do Brenda's favorite thing. We're gonna go down in the woods and get that firewood. Before I go, I'm gonna load the ranger with the uh, steel 290 farm boss and my chaps and my helmet. So let's go do that and then we'll roll down to the woods and get these rounds out of the woods and up here to the, to the wood pile. You ready to go? I am. Let's do it. All right, we're in the barn now. Brenda's gonna get the farm boss off the shelf here. I'm gonna start the ranger and I'm gonna get my chaps here. And my the helmet, chaps, safety first, right? All right, I'm gonna start this up real quick. I'm also gonna get the log jack. I'll put the link to the video I did on this earlier in the uh, description. All right, come along with us. Here we go, Brent. <laughs> like this? Yeah. Sneak around the corner here and see if we can see it. further up here and get some on the side of the hill. Do a little four wheeling while we're at it. If you look around this area right here, you're gonna notice something pretty quickly. See these blowdowns right here, this big oak? This one here, you see those trees, one snapped, the other one's hanging on that tree there. It's, there's a lot of blowdowns in this area for some reason, I'm not sure why. But you look up there and there's some more. There's an, there's an old oak sitting on the ground there and then those trees got blown over this during that ice storm we had. And then we have these logs here that I'd like to cut up and bring back to the uh, wood pile. Most of the trees we have blown down on this property are hard to get to, uh, or they're hung up in such a way, they're hung up in such a way that I'm gonna need to do some creative uh, work to get them out of there. And if you look in here, you see this tree right here behind the blowdown, that thing's dead. So I'm gonna knock that down too and get it out of the way. So I wanna show you this before we start. This is a Mingo marker. This thing is great, it helps you stay consistent with your cuts. I'll show you how to use it here in a minute and I'll put a link to it down in the description of this video. Uh-huh. 
That should be enough for one load. You think? Mm -hmm. When the desk job starts taking a toll. Biggest for life. We're gonna head on back to the wood pile. See you back there. All right, we got a head start on unloading this before we turn the camera on. But as you can see right here, that's where I split. We're on three cords of wood right now. Actually, it's a little, a little more than three cords. Um, it's almost five feet tall. But anyway, we're gonna stack this wood here. We're gonna go down and get another load. And then uh, we'll probably, I'll probably show you a video here pretty soon, splitting this. I split this all by hand. I kind of use this as a way to work out, exercise, modern homesteading exercise. So there'll be another video here in the next few days or somewhere in the next week or two of splitting this oak. But until next time, take care, all the best.